I'm Tammy with HowToGetFreeEnergy.com. I'm just going to go over some brief instructions on building the box and linking some solar cells. The first thing you're going to need for your box is a piece of ply board. You're also going to need some pexy glass. Um, and I'm going to put this together for you so you can kind of see what your box is going to look like. Um, this is some non-conducting pegboard that you're going to need and this is where you're going to end up mounting your solar cells. Then I've got some three by or three quarter by three quarter edging. Seems to work the best. Um, less less uh, shading. And then the outer edge. Now these boxes can be fit, um, made to any size preference, so I'm not going to go any over any measurement sizes for you. Um, it just depends upon what you're wanting to build. Now I still have the protective cover over my plexiglass because I'm not ready to actually assemble. But as you can see, this is what your box is going to look like. And you can put your cells and we'll end up mounting it all down. Now let's go over and put some cells together. Um, before I get started, um, the box, you're going to want to make sure that you paint it um, front, back, and all the way around. Um, that's going to weatherize it and keep your cells protected from any moisture. And um, the purpose of the gloves is to keep the oils from my hands. When I touch my cells, um, there won't be any staining. Now for this, you can get the solar cells like this. Um, the front is negative and the back's positive. And these are just your little um, points where you're going to be um, putting your tabbing wire. And then you're also going to um, these thick white lines is where you're going to be um, putting the tabbing wire. You can get these with the tabbing wire already connected. You're going to want to get some silver solder, lead free, and a flux plant the flux pin, sorry. Um, and then your um, tabbing wire, uh, now we bought it in a roll, you can buy it pre-cut. You're gonna want it twice the width of your solar cell, and let me show you. And it's very temperamental, has a mind of its own, very thin. You're gonna wanna make sure it stays flat. And you just measure it out to the width. And I'm just going to show you a couple here. And then you could just measure. Really simple. And I'm going to put these two together for you. And the flux pin, you just draw right over the, the thick white lines here. Let me make sure it's working. Get it going. And this is going to make it easy to solder to your cell. And I'm going to go ahead and mark the back of this one just so you can see. You want it on all six of your tabs. Now, let me just flatten this wire out. And it's very thin, it'll twist and bend. And there, now to get started, just grab, and this soldering iron gets very hot, so be very careful not to touch yourself. And you just stick it on there until it takes a few seconds. Just move on down. You want to make sure you keep going in the same direction. You don't want it to bubble. And it's having a temper on me right now. So just, there we go.
I just want to be able to show you how to do at least one and then you can keep your link. Now for my box, I'm going to be linking three or actually six sets of eight. I've got my box divided into two sections. I can kind of show you, here's um, five that I already have linked together. You don't want to apply too much pressure because these are very fragile and they will break. There we go. It's finally working with me here. Let me get the next one on there. Sometimes they go real easy and sometimes they just take their time. There we go. Now I'm going to get the solder here. You can see how that went together. Just take a little bit of solder here and just attach it. You just need a very little bit, just enough so that you can attach the bat, the wire, your tabbing wire. There you go. And I'll show you with what I already have put together here. This is what the back looks like all linked together. And I'm going to go ahead and add this one. And what you want to do is just line up your cells together. Um, I've left a little bit of space just so you can see. Um, a lot of times uh, people will put them closer together. It just depends upon um you know your preference so let me um get this one on so i can show you and all you do is you just put a little bit of pressure and it will solder right down and i just gotta line this one up here And these wires, like I said, they do get a little temperamental. You just gotta work with them. They're, it's very thin wire and it does get very hot. So sometimes you might wanna have something to hold it down while you're um, soldering. Now, that's just um, some basic steps, but if you'd like to get step-by-step um, -step complete instructions, you can go to our website at howtogetfreeenergy.com or you can visit our um, eBay store, the um, How to Get Free Energy. We have step-by-step -step instructions and videos available. Thank you. And again, I'm Tammy with howtogetfreeenergy.com.